Okay, owner of Impact, Krav Maga, the person who owns the gym. Really good double under passing. Way to grab the initiative. Uh, there's a little bit of a, a one-handed leg squeeze choke there that I was attempting, but you shut that down with good shoulder positioning and making sure you had pressure behind my knees. Just good pressure, good making, maintaining, uh, making uncomfortable. Yeah, I just pummeled my leg in there. If you can keep that leg in front of you, it's good. I just pummeled it a little bit. And then you re-grab that and then you pass. Really good work, really good work. That pass will serve you really well. It's a really good no-gi pass. Uh, I tried for the punch choke here. Really good toughness, really good toughness. Yeah, I could. I, uh, I, I didn't have quite the angle there. Uh, I needed to be a little more square on, but the toughness there was really good. Uh, a lot of people would have just uh, uh, tap there but uh, knowing that I didn't have the leverage really good work and then from here doing good isolation job making sure that my uh, I'm uh, you're trying to isolate my uh, hands and my arms from my torso I punched the underhook in really good work uh, getting into the guillotine position yeah attacking the back when the guillotine is off really good work and then from here uh, try to maintain back control as I turn my back to the shoulder really good work yeah you were really uh, uh, getting getting into mount and controlling the the space and uh, staying on top exactly what we were talking about today uh, you could have dove for the back but you maintained uh, mount position and then really good work trying to get underarm yeah just uh i'm just using a little bit of explosive movement uh just unwedging my body from underneath you and then getting good behind the knee control obviously from those positions we went over uh good uh, underhook scenarios you can uh underhook my uh left arm from here and then that that uh, guillotine is a little bit dangerous because uh you sacrifice a bit of a post and then i can turn you over to your back but you did a really good job attacking the guillotine and then the uh the darce choke here yeah maintaining good position I uh, get into a really solid turtle. I have control of your hand and wrist. Good little Peruvian necktie. Yeah, you need to be a little bit shallower actually. If you can get a little more separation from me and your body, a little bit more separation, you can actually shoot your arm a little bit deeper. And then once you have that overhead uh, leverage, you can finish really easily. Back into the deep half. Uh, again, you can go through and punch through the underhook. Uh, here, I'm just uh, holding and trying to get behind you. Really good work here. There's a, if you attack the Kimura from this angle, exactly, yeah. You had the Kimura and then escaping your left leg, yeah. So uh, you let, uh, I, I grabbed your, both of your legs in this position and it's hard to finish. And so from here, all I need to do is pick up, uh, uh, pop up my head and I am in a good uh, passing position, yeah. And so I'm on top and the Kimura there is effectively shut down. It's hard to do. Really good wrestling with a little double leg. There is a guillotine there, but you pass the side control in the right way. Uh, a little bit of a rubber guard. Uh, careful with this. There's a lot of pressure on your knee. And if the person pulls back or pulls forward in a very violent manner with your knee in that position, you can blow out your knee. Yeah, so just be a little bit careful there with that rubber guard. But it is a good avenue to go down. If you're, if you're uh, confident in your flexibility and uh, with your knee, uh, it, it is a good way to create a frame on the person's shoulders. Uh, again, though, just be careful uh, about uh, uh, too much pressure on the outside of the knee when you play rubber guard. Really good pummeling, really good passing. Uh, yeah, really good on the knees, making sure she can't move. Really good work. And then you guys went out of frame here. Yeah. Good into mount, the good grapevine. Yeah, really good control. And then we went over the punch choke is very effective in this scenario, but she got that half guard. Yeah, the nice thing about that punch choke is that you can actually do it from any position when you're facing them. Yeah, so half guard, mount, full guard, any any face-to-face -face connection, you can uh, thread through that fist and do the punch choke. Uh, good control here, good frames, and then good regard. Yeah, good work, Sonny. Yeah, a little... Off balance, really good work. And then from here, good side guard, Lance, really good side guard. Good work from the back. 
Yeah, back to me and Lance. Great little uh, single leg. Just uh, be careful when you collapse your head position uh, to your head and shoulder position to in front of your knees. Yeah, you're bent over a little bit at the waist there and expose the back of your neck. And uh, I was able to snap down into kind of a guillotine position. Really good recovery though, making sure your head position is good. Here, I was just really heavy on the collar tie into a kind of a more traditional uh, wrestling stance. I was just putting pressure on. Really good uh, grip fighting and getting into the, the uh, guillotine and then into the mount. And then from here, we just went over really quickly a little punch choke actions, uh, very low commitment, uh, high percentage uh, choke. And then I went into kind of a single leg again uh, uh, sorry, deep half, and then we went through the deep half, how to shut it down, keeping me flat on my back, punching underhooks. Yeah, you almost had it there. And then once you punch one underhook, you can punch through the other, exactly that Kimura. Yeah. And then from here, I just use my back escape. I know I, I, I'm trying to put my elbow to the ground, and if not, getting on top. Yeah. So at a certain point, you need to let go of the Kimura grit and attack uh, the position. Uh, just uh, really working on behind ankle grips here. I'm looking for uh, getting behind your knees, going to try and sweep you. Uh, wasn't looking too much to put too much pressure uh, while you were on bottom. Uh, I was looking for foot locks. And yeah, uh, just be careful, uh, uh, being a little more cognizant of when I reach for uh, ankle grips, yeah? So you just have to be a little more aware of when I go to my side like that, the reach of my arm, yeah? So just be cognizant when I move my body forward and put my body close to you, all of my extremities are extremely uh, able to be engaged, yeah? So if you feel like my shoulder's a little bit too close or my hip is a little bit too close you'll feel my appendages start like uh, wrapping you up yeah so it's really about maintaining distance and then being cognizant of where the ankle grips are going to come from uh, really good uh, Barambolo uh, defense here yeah very advanced I had uh, control behind the leg and yeah getting your hips away and uh, making sure that I'm disengaged is a good option yeah and so this was good uh, you were doing you were trying some uh, hooks and the De La Hiva hooks there but uh, at this point, I'm smashing. So again, uh, you want to free that bottom leg. Yeah, so I'm so heavy on that bottom leg. And then this seems like a sweep, but I was actually getting you better into position. Yeah, so I was climbing up that leg and sweeping you at the same time. And that way I was able to pass your guard pretty effectively without much resistance. Really good work. Uh, popping the hips over for... Uh, Submissions, yeah, so I would look for omoplatas there. Yeah, so the only thing uh, you got to be careful of is if I get a good Grab on your ankle you have to twist and turn. Yeah, so I was just really going for little ankle picks Yeah, so this is a very difficult position I would put hands on top of the head and continuously try and break my posture down And so all I all I was doing here was looking for inversions look for ankle grips But the movement was really crisp really good that was a really good move. Get me flat on my back. I just changed the angle on you and you almost passed here. Yeah, this was a really good moment for you there. Yeah, the only problem is that I was able to invert and get control of underneath your torso. If you cleared any grips from uh, next to your torso underneath your armpit, uh, you would have been in a good spot. And then as soon as I have control behind the knee, I'm going to leverage that to the ground and uh, make you either spin around or flat on your back. Yeah, so really good work here. Yeah, so just be careful, yeah? Things are close, yeah? My ankle is close, my hands are close, and even in this position, I'm very calm, yeah? Here, I go for a little punch choke, yeah? And then you need to defend, so your base is collapsed, and so it was a sweep and a submission at once. Did a good job defending with that throat, uh, fist in my throat, yeah? That makes it so hard to for me to close the distance, and you did a really good job defending, yeah? So... Uh, at this point, I'm ditching and looking for foot locks, but that collar tie and that pummeling, really good work. Now you're in a really good spot. And so I'm just trying to push you and adjust uh, your posture and making it so that uh, you have, you're always off balanced. But that was a really great roll, really great roll. 
yeah, to get out. Yeah, so uh, once you get more advanced, uh, when in doubt, roll. All right, good work today. Good work with Lance. A little ankle pick there. Good work. See you next week.